Hey guys, this is Tony with B&B Farms, Freedom, Indiana, and we're down in the sawmill shed today with our Woodland Mills HM126 sawmill. I uh, thought I'd take a minute or two just to show you a couple things that we come up with to try to make our life a little easier down here on the sawmill. Uh, nothing great, you guys have probably already thought of this, many of you probably have already done it, but nevertheless, I'll go ahead and put this out there uh, for those of you who might be wondering how to go about it. The first thing we needed was a tow board. What we did was take some Unistrut, bolted it together in a framework. Uh, it's removable, obviously. You can drop it anywhere between any two bunks or any length log that you have. Uh, it sits down between the rails. For the jack, we're using a scissors jack. And rather than bolt it rigid to the Unistrut with the strut nuts, we space those strut nuts out. So that it, can't, it can't come out of the Unistrut, but it is free to slide to accommodate whatever log diameter that you might need. And certainly you can put a, a three quarter inch socket on your drill and power that up. But what we chose to do was a little more low tech. Uh, we took a jack handle like you used to find under the hoods of pickup trucks everywhere. And we attached a half inch swivel and a three quarter inch socket to it. So now all we have to do is get it under our log and just crank it up. Plenty of leverage to lift the, the biggest logs, no problem whatsoever. Makes it nice and easy. So that's the tow board and the jack system we came up with. The second thing I wanted to share with you is right down at the end of the mill. We put a big convex mirror down there on the end. Uh, we tend to load our mill with a front end loader equipped with pallet forks. And when you're on the tractor coming up to the bunks, you can't really see or tell just, you know, where the forks are in relation to the bunks. So with this mirror being here, I'll try and step back and kind of an approximation of where I might be on the tractor. Uh, all I have to do is glance over at that mirror from the, the seat on the tractor and I get a bird's eye view of, of where my forks are makes it really simple to make sure I don't drop the log on the mill, but instead just roll it off nice and easy up against the log stops. Thanks for watching.